Hey guys, Hossein Device here. Hope you're doing well. I have prepared a time lapse of creation of my Moses Lock model. It includes some sculpting and texture painting process. Make sure to stick around until the end of the video as I will explain about the process of creating my Simpson series. Okay, let's get to it.
Fortunately, my Simpsons series went viral. They were published in several magazines and lately have been shared on different social media platforms. I would like to take a moment and appreciate your support. I got a lot of positive feedbacks and these series were among my most popular posts as well. So thanks for making it more interesting. I thought I'd better prepare this video and explain a bit about the process. We have been watching The Simpsons for a while and I was always wondering how they would look like with some realistic touches in textures and shaders. So I started with Homer Simpson and ended up making more of the characters. Mr. Burns, Marge, Bart, Lisa and Mo. Before starting the block out of the shapes, I first looked for those familiar faces that I feel like they kind of look like the cartoony characters I'm about to make. For example, for Homer Simpson, I had Paul Giamatti in mind. I tried to apply some of his facial features into my design, but definitely keep those landmarks of the original look. Because for me, the main point of these designs was to make them as close as possible to the original look, but at the same time have realistic textures and shaders. It was definitely a challenging process, but I feel like it worked well at the end of the day. Take Mo as an example. I had many familiar faces in mind while watching him on The Simpsons. One of these faces was main actor in the TV show Shameless. I tried to apply some of his facial features, but I wanted to stick to the original design. I mean, I didn't want to do likeness, I just wanted to apply some of those feelings. So the actor only serves as a reference. And the funny fact is, although I had Shameless actor in mind, I got many comments that it kind of looks like Rich Hall the comedian. And now that I look at it, I kind of see that it looks like him as well. I wanted to make sure that my designs and original cartoony characters have the same feelings so that audience feels connected to the characters. One of the dominant features of the Simpsons characters is the shape of their mouth and lips. So I tried to apply some of those features as well. It made my characters less realistic and more stylized but that's okay because that's what I was aiming for. Regarding skin colors, I didn't want to go with the original yellow. I wanted to make sure that skin details and textures look as realistic as possible, just like a normal human being. For the clothes, I wanted to make them look practical. For example, Moise Apron, it looks really simplified in the original design. Both front and back are covered, but that's not the case in real life. Only front should be covered. These are small details that make huge differences and make our characters look more realistic. And about color of the eyes, what we don't really know for sure because all of the characters have black dots in their eyeballs. For some characters, we get references in some episodes. For example, we get to know that Mars' eyes are hazel. Hazel! Your eyes are hazel! But for most of the characters, we can't say for sure, we just can google it up and see what comes up. Hope you found this useful and enjoyed watching this video. Hit the like button, leave a comment and share it with your friends. Also, if you like my videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. Your support goes a long way. And turn on notification bell to get notified when I share a new video. Have a nice day. Damn, ah, stupid camera distortion. Huh? Just give me another chance. I'm gonna fix it, I promise. Just a second. Yeah, Mo, listen to Homer. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. I'm glad you like it. Cheers.